I was working on a form this week and I learned something really cool. So you see how browsers render these three elements, text area and input and the select very differently. So I spent a lot of time trying to make them look the same without using a custom select. Uh, but this thing really bugs me where the placeholder for the first two is some shade of gray, but in the select, this is not treated as a placeholder. So it's just, it's just your text color, which is black. So here's what I learned. First of all, you can actually style your placeholders. So, oops, placeholder with a double. And I can say color is blue. So that makes it blue. I can do this for my input and my text area. And instead of blue, I can say something like 777. And this will render the same gray across all browsers. So that's amazing. And unfortunately, I can't really do this for select because again, select doesn't even treat this as placeholder. So that's out of the picture. The other thing I learned is you can style invalid fields. So if you have form validation, uh, you don't need form validation. So the browser does some validation for you. If I have a type email and let's add a border color red, if I enter a username and type email, it identifies that it's not an email and makes it red. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I can make this a required field, which means it will give, it will just throw an error by default because a required field can't be empty. So this, however, is like terrible UX. You should at least give the user a, a try to fill something. But what happens if I use this for select? Select, I can make my select required. And now you see it's red. And if I select something, then well, it's not red. So I can use this as an attempt to style my select color. And you see if it's empty, which means if it's invalid, then I can make it gray. And if something is selected, then it will fall back to black. So even though it works only with a select that is required, it's still a pretty cool trick.